Okay, so in this question, they're telling us that um, they believe that uh, the price of fuel is gauging how many people are buying high fuel efficient trucks, right? So, and cars. So they're assuming that the higher the fuel price, the more people will buy um, cars to get better gas mileage. So first it says compute the row and column totals for A, right? So um, this is just addition, right? So if I go across the columns, right? If I go across these columns, I get 392, and I'm going to add 442 to that. I get 413, 834. So that's 834 there. And then next I get 36,929 and 42,255, right? That's the, the second row across. And that gives me 79,184. So 79,184. And then we'll do the columns, right? So I have uh, 36, 929, and 392, right? 11, 12, 13, 7, 3, 37,321. And then we have the last one, right? That is 442. Plus 42,255, which gives us 79624, 42,697. Okay, now let me um, clear a bunch of this space because I need it for other, other things while we're going. And then um, it says, what's the independent variable? So they're trying to see whether or not... Uh, the purchase of high or low efficient cars and trucks depends on the fuel prices. So therefore, the fuel prices, and I'll circle them, are the independent and the number of cars of each type purchased is dependent on that. So these are the independent, right? So we, we would say the independent variables are the, is the fuel price. Now for B, they want a relative frequency table. So um, you would do this much better than me, right? Because you're working on a nice piece of paper with a ruler and all. But let me show you the work. So the table's set up the same way. Low, high, fuel. And you would, you would write it all out, but it's harder for me to do it, right? Number of high... Uh, fuel efficient and number of uh, ordinary, regular, right, regular. Now the way we do this, we always divide the number by the independent variable, right? So this would mean that in this first one, I would put 392 over 37,321. And in the bottom one, I would put 36,929 out of the total, 37,321. And same for this one. I'd take 442 and divide it by the total, 42,697. And for this one, I would take 42,255 and divide it by 42,697. And if we do that for this, and I could do this in another color, we would get 1.1%, right, rounding off to the nearest tenth. This one I'd get 98.9%. And this one comes out to 1%, right, rounded, 1%. And again, I'm using a calculator for this. I'm not doing anything tricky, right? And this would be 99%. And there's my... Uh, relative frequency table. And now the tricky part, right? Because I would have assumed that, yes, indeed, people would buy uh, more energy efficient cars when fuel prices are high. But according to this chart, um, for 
low and high fuel prices, right? Low and high fuel prices, only about, right, the same number, only about 1% of the cars and trucks are high. So it doesn't seem to matter, right, whether or not the fuel prices are low or the fuel prices are high. People buy about 1% of the cars. So we would say there is no association between those, right? These numbers in purple there would have to be different for there to be an association.